easy is it for, for one partner to sort of take the back seat when sort of both of you are, are used to being, you know, number one? Um, I think it depends, really. I think it depends on... There's normally one in a relationship that is more ambitious or whatever. It must be diff difficult if you're both really ambitious. Yeah. But when I first um, met Shane, um, I was more famous. Um, <laughs> very big in Japan. No, really, I was. Yeah. yeah, huge in Japan. Um, no, I was. And um, and he used to... The running joke was every time it was in the paper, it was Colleen Nolan's lover or Colleen yeah. Nolan's boyfriend. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and it used to really wind Shane up, and he used to go, one day my name is going to be before yours. Oh. And it was. You know, two years down the line, it was. And I was all right with that because I'd kind of done it and I had the kids and I was yeah. ready to take a back seat. But I know if that had gone on, I think it would have been something that, as much as it was a joke in the beginning, I think it eventually would have really maybe got to him because he was yeah. really ambitious. Do you know? think it's more difficult when the man is the one that has to take the back seat? Because traditionally it is the woman in a relationship who takes the back seat. Yeah. 